Welcome to the new product introduction or MPI practice area. Six areas here that we find important that you should pay attention to when you're doing a new product introduction. The first being the design. Okay, what does your design look like? Is it significantly different than the products you are currently making? Is it pretty similar? Makes a big difference in how you're going to handle it. Something that's totally different might need a whole program management team around it, might need some other work to make it better. Something that's similar might be much more simple. You don't have to do as much training. It's a big deal to decide, is this a major new product introduction or a minor new product introduction? And it's a really good thing to start out with. The next is suppliers and the selection of those suppliers. If it's a major, you're probably going after some new suppliers. Or if they're not going after new suppliers, your old suppliers are going to have to change greatly some of their processes and tooling to make some of the pieces you need. It's important to make sure those suppliers can do their work correctly. We've had clients here that new product introductions have failed miserably because they didn't pay attention to the supply chain and then they had us come in to fix the supply chain for them. Line arrangement, setting up the line properly, making sure the people are, know what they're supposed to do, making sure all the testing areas, the machine areas and everything else are ready, ready to go. Training of the people so they know what to do. And one of the things I suggest in this area is an MPI line little offline place where you can sort of test your processes, test your management, test your skills, make sure everything's correct. And by the way, you're not influencing your current manufacturing production at that time. You're not getting in the way. Some people try to do some MPI line work at the same time while they're doing production work. And a lot of times that causes some great concern. The training then goes into the next area, testing the processes, stressing the process on a run at rate to make sure that you can actually make the product, product at the rate you're supposed to. Maybe you take five parts, we need to make these in the next 10 minutes, and they run down the line in 10 minutes. You stress your processes, you stress your testing, you stress your people so you can really see if what you set up is correct. And one of the ways it does that very well is the PPAP process, which is in the automotive industry. PPAP is a way that takes a look at all the things I've just taken on. It's a very formal, good system to use to get your new products ready and, and going. And then the last is your go live. How do you go live? Do you build all of a sudden go at once? Do you fill your line? Do you fill the line slowly, maybe making one in 10, then two in 10, then three in 10 until you're finally up into a full production mode? Depending on the complexity of your product, you might want to change that and do some things with that. Do you shut down for an hour or two to check the quality to make sure everything's all right? Or you just start producing and letting them go out the door? The go live is a very critical process that you should know. And these pieces here are a really good part of a good MPI process.